Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over apply your learning question number three from the Atomic Structure and Periodic Table unit. Question number three asks, how many neutrons does carbon-14 have? Carbon-14 is an isotope, and as a refresher, isotopes are atoms with the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. And there are two types of isotope notation that are commonly used. Firstly, we have nuclide notation. And we also have hyphen notation. So to give an example of how these different notations will look, we'll use carbon 12 first. So we start by using the chemical symbol of carbon then we write in the mass number, and this is how that's written in, in each notation respectively. And then nuclide notation also includes the atomic number. Let me write that a little bit clearer. That is a six. Okay, so the mass number, which is in blue for each notation, represents the total number of protons plus the total number of neutrons. So it's the sum of protons and neutrons. Whereas the atomic number, which is included in nuclide notation and is written in red, is equivalent to the number of protons. And you can find the atomic number on the periodic table for each atom, or for each element. So let's look back at our carbon-14 example. And this is written in hyphen notation in the question. And so we know that 14 represents the mass number of our carbon isotope. And that is our number of protons and our number of neutrons in total. Looking at the periodic table, we can see that carbon has six protons because the atomic number is six. And we know that those are the same thing. So if we take the mass number and subtract the number of protons, we can conclude that there are eight neutrons in the carbon-14 isotope. So that's the answer to number three.